Well, safe to say, it's about time I make another retired Steam Excursion Stars video and redeem myself with the last one, now that I know I'm not a noob anymore. Because I sucked at the last one. In any way possible. Ever since the end of the Steam Age and the beginning of the Preservation Era, Steam locomotive operations have thinned out from regular and daily to rare and occasional. Despite the massive number of steam locomotives preserved in Canada and across the globe, only a small percentage of them have ever been restored to operational condition in the Preservation Era, with some for big mainline excursions and others on small tourist railroads. But some steam locomotives that have run an excursion career aren't around today being retired because of various problems or inconveniences, or even worse, scrapped. Though do keep in mind that some of my picks might get restored to operational condition in the distant future, even if that time could be up to 30 years or more from now. With all that said, this is my top 10 list of retired Steam Excursion stars from Canada. Number 10, Canadian National U1D, number 6043. 6043 is the second member of the CN's U1D mountain types built by Canadian Locomotive Company for CN in 1929. In 1960, as the CN was close to completely dieselizing and ending revenue steam operations, the 6043 was used for a farewell to steam excursion by the Manitoba Travel and Convention Association between Brandon and Winnipeg, Manitoba, and returned on July 22nd of 1961. Following the excursion, the 6043 continued working for the Canadian National until being retired in 1962 after 33 years of service. Today, the 6043 is on display at Assiniboine Park in Winnipeg, Manitoba. It is also among five surviving Canadian National mountain types. Number 9. Canadian National 47. The only tank engine on my list, it was built by Montreal Locomotive Works in September 1914 as Grand Trunk Railway 1542. Seven years later, the Grand Trunk Railway was absorbed into Canadian National. Following this, 1542 was redesignated as an X-10A and renumbered to 47 by CN. The 47 and its classmates were based in Montreal and used exclusively on commuter trains until being retired in 1959. Following its retirement, the 47 was sold to F. Nelson Blount and it became part of his collection in North Walpole, New Hampshire. The Hudson tank engine became the first to run as a Steamtown excursion locomotive and was intended to become the museum's main motive power at the time. She had underwent a fresh overhaul in 1958. So, as you can imagine, it was in top mechanical condition when Steamtown got it from Canadian National. But tragically, the Interstate Commerce Commission denied the 47's boiler certification, and to make things worse, the maintenance records had been lost in a roundhouse fire. This meant that it was impossible to verify its boiler condition to government inspectors without an expensive overhaul. Because of this unfortunate bad turn of luck, the 47's career only lasted for five weeks before she was retired in 1961 and placed on static display afterward. 47 was eventually moved with the rest of the Steamtown USA collection to Bellows Falls, Vermont sometime later, and then to their current location at Scranton, Pennsylvania in 1986. As of today, the 47 is one of three surviving Canadian National X-10As. She has rusted away to the point of bad condition and is unlikely to run again. But she at least might receive a cosmetic restoration in the future, just like UP4012 did some time ago. Number 8. Canadian National 6218 Built by Montreal Locomotive Works in 1942, 6218 is one of 35 members of the Canadian National Railway's U2G Northerns built from 1962 to 1943. 6218 served with the Canadian National for 17 years until being retired in 1959. 
but in 1964, the 6218 was brought out of retirement and taken to the Stratford Motive Power Shop where it was repaired and rehabilitated for an excursion service. From 1964 to 1971, the 6218 ran excursions across the United States and Canada, making a total of 91 trips and thrilling over 50,000 rail fans, as well as hauling several thousands more who wanted to cherish the final moments of steam in the country. 6218 was the last steam locomotive to pull a passenger train in Canada, and the last to ever be run by Canadian National. 6218 was permanently retired in 1971, and after a two-year dispute between several museums, the locomotive was donated to the Fort Erie Railroad Museum in Fort Erie, Ontario. It has remained there ever since. 6218 is one of six surviving Canadian National Northern types and among three surviving U2Gs, the others being 6200 and 6213. Number 7. Canadian National 1533 Last Canadian National locomotive in a row, I promise. This H6 Class 10-wheeler was built in 1911 by Montreal Locomotive Works for the Canadian Northern as number 264, but was renumbered to 1325 in 1912. It would later be relettered as a Canadian National locomotive in 1919, when the Canadian Northern became part of the newly formed Canadian National. In 1956, 1325 and its sister engines were renumbered again with 1325 becoming 1533 to make way for the newly arriving EMD SW 1200RS switchers. Following its retirement in the 1960s, the 1533 was sold to the New Hope and Ivyland Railroad of New Hope, Pennsylvania in 1962, albeit it was named the Steam Train Incorporated at the time. The New Hope and Ivyland sent the 1533, along with Cliffside Consolidation Type No. 40, to the Reading Shops in St. Clair, Pennsylvania, where they restored the engines to operational condition. 1533's restoration was finished a few years later, and she entered service on the railroad, along with 40 and U.S. Army S-100 No. 9. Thanks to 1533 being easier to operate compared to 40, it was considered the railroad's main motive power from 1966 to 1974 but in 1975, the locomotive needed to be overhauled again. At the same time, however, the New Hope came under ownership of McHugh Brothers Service. The New Hope and McHugh found themselves having to make a tough decision. They could either overhaul 1533 or replace her with 40, which was harder to operate. But thanks to a lack of funding, in December 1975, they decided to replace the 1533 with 40. Ever since then, 1533 has been sitting behind the New Hope and Ivyland shops and still is as of June 2021. Like 47, 1533 has fallen victim to rust and corrosion and is unlikely to run again. But in the meantime, fellow classmate 1392 is currently operational at the Alberta Prairie Railway in Stettler, Alberta. Number 6. Canadian Pacific 1246 1246 is a Canadian Pacific G5, of which 102 were built from 1944 to 1948 by multiple manufacturers. 1246 was manufactured by Montreal Locomotive Works in June 1946. The engine worked with the Canadian Pacific until it was retired at some point in the 1950s. The exact year is unknown to my knowledge. In 1964, the 1246, along with classmates 1278 and 1293, were purchased by F. Nelson Blount of Steamtown, USA. After being purchased, 1246 was taken to Blount's Green Mountain Railway Corporation to be restored, and it was finished in 1967. Until 1973, 1246 pulled Steamtown passenger trains between Bellows Falls and Chester, Vermont, before it was sold to Steamtown in August of that year, along with the 1293. There, they reunited with the 1278, which at the time, from 1966 to 73, was Steamtown 127, thanks to it being Blount's favorite locomotive. Back in the month that 1246 returned to service, Blount had planned to renumber the other G5s as well, basically removing the last digits from their road numbers, so 1246 would become 124, and 1293 would become 129. But the plan never came to fruition because Blount died in a plane crash on August 31st, 1967. 
up to three and a half weeks after 1246's return. I don't know the exact date 1246 ran again. Back to 1246, aside from operating at Steamtown, she would occasionally operate with 1278 over the Green Mountain to Rutland and Vermont Railway between Bennington and Burlington, Vermont. It also ran a doubleheader with 1278 when it masqueraded as Delaware and Hudson 653 in December 1973. More on that in part two. Oh, spoiler alert. She would even run triple headers with the other Steamtown G5s from time to time. Um, said G5s being 1278 and 1293. After returning from an overhaul in 1984, 1246 was taken along with the rest of the Steamtown collection to its new home in Scranton, Pennsylvania. From that point, she operated on the former Lackawanna Railroad route. But in 1986, it was determined that, in addition to some heavy repairs that would soon be due, the 1246 was found to be too light for the heavy grades and sharp curves of the new Steamtown line. Because of this unfortunate problem, the G5 was stored away and ultimately considered surplus by the National Park Service, who took over Steamtown a few years later. In October 1988, the National Park Service, who had now taken over Steamtown, sold the 1246 to the Connecticut Valley Railroad Museum Incorporated, though it didn't arrive until April 1989. Then in 1996, the CVRM repainted the 1246 and moved it to Essex, where it sat on static display until 2008, and then it was moved to the Naugatuck Railroad's Railroad Museum of New England in Thomaston, Connecticut. As of June 2021, the 1246 is stored outdoors at the Railroad Museum of New England. She is also one of six surviving Canadian Pacific G5s, the others being 1201, 1238, 1278, 1286, and 1293, with 1246 along with 1278 and 1293 still in America, and the rest back in Canada. To stay tuned for part 2, subscribe to my channel and activate notifications so that you'll be notified when it goes online. But for now, I'm going to be out on vacation by the time this video goes up. And I'm also... You can probably tell by my voice, but I'm pretty done with making these videos for the month. I'm going to take a bit of a break before I get back to them. I'm Andrew Ayla Bammers, and I will see you in the next video. And when my break is over.